Hello and welcome back to our chill Minecraft Let's Play. Last episode we just kind of ran around and killed stuff. I don't know. I was mostly talking about stuff that episode. But like... Yeah, that's pretty much all that went on last episode. This is the single most annoying thing I have ever encountered in Minecraft. Get away from my cats! I don't want to shoot them! <sighs> Did I hurt either of the babies? You know what? He gets some fish too. Okay, so I kind of want to go back to the nether. You know what, I want to shove you all in my house with the villagers because I know that mobs won't spawn in there. Because of the ungodly amount of torches that I have in here. Yeah, what's up dude? What on earth? Oh, it's villagers again. Bruh, they're spooky sometimes. It's so weird. Oh yeah, you guys have plenty of beds to sit on. And chests. As annoying as it might be. Okay, where are you gonna sit? You gonna sit on the chest too? Got six cats. We got something to be proud of. I don't care who you are. Babies. What? Absolute babies. Excuse me, sir. Where are you going? I was scratching the back of my head. You better not be falling down there, because if you do, you're gonna die. Probably. Can villagers climb ladders? What all can climb a ladder? Oh, of course. I leave for five seconds and there's already mobs spawning down here. I tried giving this to my cats, but it was cooked, so I couldn't. Before I go, I want to, uh, put all my stuff back, <laughs> like, um, I need that, or that, because there's no wood. Or, well, you can take stuff in the nether. I'm gonna take it along. Hmm. Let's open arrows here. Excuse me? What was that? Was it a cat? It was a cat. Two cats. Well, both of them are tamed, so that's good. Don't just have two random cats following me around. Three? Get on the bed, mister. Yo, could you guys, like, move so my cats can get in? There we go. You can just sit down there. You can sit down there. So, as long as you actually stay there, please. Okay. None of them are following me over there, so I guess they're good. Okay. I hope none of the villagers are allergic to cats. Ha <laughs> ha! <sighs> Alright. What all can I leave here? Hmm. Okay. Got some mob loot that I can just drop off. Yeah, I got. I'm not gonna put those there. Okay, I can put that there. And uh, oh, I can put that there and that there. I 
I know I have more bone meal. Where do I put it? Maybe I don't have bone meal. I'm just gonna use this up really quickly. Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. Stupid mobs. Leave me and my weird family alone. Oh, of course you move. You know what? Come here, turd. Beat that. <gasps> I have a sub from Subway that I'm eating off camera. And it's really good. Like... <laughs> Okay, so what I usually get from Subway, um, I make my own, I make my own sub because, I don't know, I, I just make my own sub, you know? And so, uh, I'm gonna put that up there. Well, yeah, no, don't throw that out, I need that. So on that sub... I get a bunch of stuff. Um. Whew. I usually change it up from time to time. But this time, I think I'm gonna stick with this for a while. This time, I got, um. Guacamole on an Italian herbs and cheese bread. With, uh. Fresh mozzarella, shredded mozzarella, and shredded cheddar with lettuce and salt. And it's divine. I know this is like really rude, or. Er, Something, I don't know. But like, I just had to get it out there. If if you live close to a sub- Oh my god, I thought that was a new mob. It was just a bunch of pigmen standing weirdly in a line. But um, yeah, if you live close to a subway, I really recommend um trying what I just told you about. Because I really like it. Um... But don't get it if you're lactose intolerant. Cause, like... There's a lot of cheese on it. <laughs> Come on, you stupid turds. Heat guests. I said it like 70 million times before on this show. But I hate them. Like, a lot. They're spooky and they come out of nowhere. Okay. I got both my headphones in this time. I think that it's either above me or below me. So that's good. I don't want to find out. Hmm. Oh, fire. It's hot. Okay. So, because we found nothing that direction, you know, that, in that direction, um, I'm gonna go the complete opposite direction. I'm gonna go this way. Shut up. Just really quickly, I wanna get rid of the ceiling. Oh, the slayer. I 
made this, um... Okay, so before the school year ended... <laughs> it's gonna go even deeper in depth. Okay, so... I go to a project-based school. Like, you know, instead of tests, you got projects on what you learned. And it's super cool. And, like, if you live near one, I really recommend you go because it's cool and I like it. And maybe you'll like it too. Or maybe you don't. I don't know. Anyways. Um. At the end of our mass class. Yes, that's the right word. At the end of our mass class. We, uh, we had a project. You know, like, hang on. Dude, the brightness was down so low! Oh my goodness! Sorry. I kind of freaked out there for a second. I was playing, and I was just like, Man, it's really dark. Why is it so dark? And then I pressed the key to bring up the brightness, and just like, Oh my god. <laughs> but that's besides the point. Um, so we had a project where we had to basically just measure we had to sketch and then build a house um and then measure the house because I was in geometry and that's really good for oh I was expecting to have to tunnel or something I mean I still could I think I will But, um, to make the project super easy for me, what I did is that- Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god, that's awesome! I didn't know that was possible! I knew there were, like, baby zombies riding chickens, but zombie- uh, pig zombies riding chickens? That's awesome. But, um... Yeah, so make this to make the project really easy on my part, what I did is I built the house in Minecraft first. And then I like reverse worked it because a block in Minecraft isn't a meter. So Ooh. sorry, I just got the urge to crack my neck. So I did. It felt really nice. <sighs> but or not but, but like, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm great at talking, if you can't tell. So, I reverse engineered the project. I built the house in Minecraft first. So, all I would have to do is count out all the blocks. And like, count out how big the house is. And it was so easy. It was so nice. And I loved it. And, um, it was optional, but you could have decorated the house. So, I decorated the house. And I kind of want to show you guys, because I'm actually pretty proud of it. So, at the end of this... Episode, I think I'm just gonna pop over to that world and give you guys a tour. It's the house that was featured in the Pigs in the Math House video. So, yes, when I said math house, I didn't mean school house, I meant house for math. I hear gas. It's a good sign. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, finally. Yes. Please tell me it's more than just a. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, yes, it's 
It's more than just a tiny little hallway. Oh, I'm so happy. This makes me way happier than you could than you'd think. Delightful. Like pure joy. Never mind, I'm not starting over. Well, I, I probably will if you want me to, but I don't want to start over no more. Because this was probably the best luck I could have had in this stupid world. But yeah, we're out of time. If you liked the video, then leave a like. And if you want more, then I don't know, subscribe. And maybe if you want to know if there is more, maybe you should like hit the bell or something. I don't know. You know all the stuffs. The stuffs. I mean, unless you're like super new to Minecraft. Yes, Minecraft YouTube. Then you should know all the stuffs. But, yeah. Sorry, I kind of got distracted by mining. But, yeah. I already said all the stuffs. So, uh... See ya. Except not really, because I said I'd pop into the math house world. <laughs> this is the house that I built for my final math project. I really like it. I think it looks really cool. If you're wondering just what on earth this map is, um, way, way earlier in the year, I, well, throughout the entire year, I hosted a club called Game Club, and as part of Game Club, I hosted a town hall, basically, where everyone just gets together, and... I hosted a town hall where we did like this giant Minecraft tournament and that was the tournament for the month and it was super fun and everyone loved it so I, and I want to do it next year but that's besides the point. For that tournament I made this map but, <laughs> but, um, it turned out that the engineering teacher, she uses Minecraft to, t to teach people, to teach kids about you know, like... You know how Minecraft is used educationally. It's like the... Oh, slipping my mind. Like, with the redstone. And the wires. You know, that stuff. I... I can't. I've never taken one of his classes. But I will next year. That's the point. point. Again. So... I made this map for that tournament, but it turns out that his version of Minecraft couldn't handle this or something, or like his ver his Minecraft wasn't up to date or something, or just because it was an EDU. It was something that just his world couldn't be ported to that Minecraft. But again. <laughs> Yeah, this is the house I built. I really like it. It's got a kitchen, because it needed a kitchen. A lot of people were like, Toby, are those sea pickles? Why do you got sea pickles in the kitchen? I'm like, um, I, it was the, uh, you know those canister things that hold, like, sugar and flour and coffee? You know those things you usually just have in your kitchen? Yeah, that's that. Here's the dining room that I'm super proud of that I got the wool to float off the floor. <laughs> yeah. This is the kelp closet. That's the end of that. This is supposed to be the living room, but I don't exactly have a TV. I just have a painting over here. And then I have a secret room down here. Call it Party Town. 
says you're stuck, but you're not really stuck because you step step on that and then bam. Command blocks. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is the second floor. This is the first guest bedroom. This is the second guest bedroom. They are probably the most unfurnished rooms in the house. This is the bathroom. Got a nice little bathtub that I'm also really proud of. <sighs> this is the sink. I don't know why. Well, I... Sink? <laughs> yeah. Uh, there we go. Uh, I use these for like walls, sort of. I thought it was really smart and clever. And so this is a that's the attic. I don't know why. Well, I know why I did this, but it wouldn't make sense in a normal house. And this is kelp closet number two. This is the master bedroom bathroom. It's so small and sad. This is the master bedroom. And in the project, we were supposed to have like all of those rooms that are in there right now and a garage, but I didn't realize, or I didn't remember that we needed a garage until like the very end. So I was like, hey, hey, Miss, Miss Teacher, could I just make my balcony the garage? And she was like, yeah, okay. And so I was like, sweet. So then I did that. So this is the garage, definitely, totally. And then, oh no, 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 don't, don't, don't mess with that. <laughs> hey, I changed the, I changed what went up here, I forgot about that. That's what's going on in this world. And I'm so proud of the redstone that I just need to show it off. Back here, I got a small bunch of command blocks. This basically spawns in everything. No, this kills everything. This spawns in everything. Yeah, this spawns in the baby zombies and the baby villagers. And then this. Oh. That makes it so this isn't just constantly powered um this does the same thing as that but it's like right for right here um yeah so this kills everything Yeah, sorry, I had to show that off a bit. I was just like super proud of it. Anyways, yeah. Leave a like and whatnot and subscribe. I'll see you around. Bye!